we've attended the Global Entrepreneurship Week uh, pre-COVID. Um, what is the importance of the this week's events for the young people? Yeah, I think it's a real great opportunity for what would usually be people coming together in person, but actually doing that virtually is a great opportunity for them to, to meet my, like, like-minded individuals that are really um, enterprising, looking to either create their own businesses, got their own early business ideas, but also it's about coming into contact virtually, obviously on this occasion, with people that run their own businesses to get their advice, their steer on how they can take things forward in the years ahead. Brilliant, I do like the opportunity to, to network, which is great for somebody like myself as a, an aspiring entrepreneur. Um, your role um, oversees economic development and regeneration of the city. Why does Whole City Council place such emphasis on the importance of enterprise? Yeah, well I think what's really vital is when you look up at, at the makeup of the city, the vast majority of the people are employed in micro businesses or they've set up their own business. So actually we often can focus too heavily on, on the larger businesses that of course do need support, do take on a number of people directly, but actually it's an opportunity of growing people's own talent. And when I look at sort of um, the makeup of the city and conversations I have with young people, a lot of them aren't necessarily wanting to go to, to work for a company. They've, they've got their own ideas and it's about us supporting the growth of that idea ideas and that enterprise is critical. No, it's true. Hull is definitely uh, full of very young and enterprising young people. Um, Hull City Council is currently supporting new businesses with the additional restrictions grant to the, for, due to the pandemic, which is a fantastic move, um, benefiting many of us who are just setting up our businesses. When this grant runs out and the pandemic ends, will the council still consider it necessary to support businesses? We will always be supporting businesses. I think, of course, what we've got to look carefully at is how we can best do that. Um, and of course, the additional restrictions grant is here as a, as a COVID situation, so it's very current. Clearly, as we get into the next financial year, that funding is removed and we are looking at sort of alternative ways because it's essential that we provide that support for businesses to grow. Um, the bit that's a little frustrating for myself is um, obviously a lot of the support that's delivered to young people is, is through European funding. That obviously is coming to an end um, either in 22 or 23. Um, we were hopeful that we'd know more about the Shared Prosperity Fund, its replacement, and how we could start to access that. We haven't got the details of that there, but that's something we are looking towards to provide future support moving forward. I just want to add on that as well, is I think what's important to recognise is um, in August, uh, the, the city launched its economic strategy. Um, that obviously is focused across a whole swathe of support for businesses across the board, but within that, there's very strong references to the role of young people and to micro businesses. And, and again, earlier this year, we launched the micro business strategy. All that comes together as a whole in terms of demonstrating the council's commitment to, to young people and to micro businesses. It's definitely a great idea on paper. I'm just hopeful that it will come into real life and I have every confidence that the whole city council will do that. Um, during the pandemic, um, mental health has been an issue and or a topic of discussion. Uh, how aware is this the whole city council's obligation to support the many people with mental health issues at present and in the future? Yeah, I mean over the last sort of, it's pre-COVID where we started with it as a council that we started to have um, first aiders that are mental health sort of first aiders. The numbers of those have increased um, during the COVID sort of period. But it's a real recognition that as people have been working in more isolated circumstances, mental health has become a much bigger, bigger challenge for them. So within the counts, we've got support for that. But also we have secured some recent European funding in to help businesses in terms of the mental health support that they can provide to, to their individuals and how we can also help people that maybe been a little bit more distanced from the labour market in the past build that confidence, maybe overcome some of those um, anxiety issues that may have started to accrue to help them back into the workplace or to give them the confidence to start to build their own business. Definitely. Um, I'm personally, I'm quite grateful that you you provide the opportunity to get training as a mental health first aider because I took that opportunity. So, <laughs> um, How optimistic are you for the future? 
I'm always a, a glass half full rather than a glass half empty person, so I'm very optimistic. I think what I recognise though is because of the level of sort of uncertainty with funding moving forward, that is creating some caution um, with some people. But one of the things that I'm also starting to consider is um, there's further growth that's likely to be coming into the city. Um, I've been working closely on, on the Humber Freeport, um, which was announced sort of in the budget. Um, if that's creating more jobs and drawing more income into the city, there's more spend. That in turn will support more businesses, whether that be um, hospitality, leisure, retail, and I think the more spend we have, the more opportunities will, will emerge for the city moving forward. Definitely, yes, and I think especially the whole city centre, it needs that boost to make it come to life again. <laughs> um, finally, would you like to wish everybody well at the Global Entrepreneurship Week Awards evening? Yeah, I mean, I think this is a, it's a great week that obviously we're, we're putting on this week, um, and then the culmination of that is, is on the Friday, um, where we have the awards due. I was, I was there virtually last year, uh, the year before I was there in person, but it's always a real great positive highlight and very uplifting, um, seeing the, the sort of um, excitement and, and pleasure when people won awards last year and the year before was, was fantastic. So um, I look forward to seeing people there sort of uh, virtually.